Welcome back. You're watching KTN Prime. Family members of victims of Saturday's accident in Soy Sambu have started identifying the bodies. According to the chief government pathologist, Dr. Johansson Odor, the bodies can only be identified through DNA testing. The cries of pain thrust into a deep pit of grave loss. Tears flowing freely as they try to come to terms with the sudden demise of their loved ones. <laughs> At the Churomo Mochiri, family members of those who perished in the Soisambu accident along the Nairobi Nakuru Highway gathered here with only one purpose, to identify their relatives. There are about 13 body parts which were received here. And these body parts, uh, you find that there's a hand, there's a trunk, there's legs. And uh, they are, it's very difficult to identify that they're the ones. And uh, the ones which are head, you find that the heads are, are being crushed. Penina Acheng is a family friend to three orphaned sisters who perished in the accident. She brought one of the bereaved daughters to provide a DNA sample. Walikuwa watu watatu. Aya watu watatu, mutu moja, alikuwa mbaya sana. Hakukua na parts. Any parts hakukua na ya kwa ana mwili, ana nini. Sawa wili walikuwa wazuri. On Sunday tuliwatoa. As for Godfred Odiambo, his brother and son were among the 20 who perished. His immediate concern now is to receive his son's body after the DNA identification process in order to accord him a decent burial. Mike, my brother-in-law, he was the one who was the one who was the one who was the son who was the one who was the one who was the we are collecting samples for DNA, after which we'll be able to, to know which sample belongs to at least to the relatives. DNA samples were collected from mothers, siblings, and the victims' children. And so far, only six families had reported to Chiromo Mochari, as the other families await for the two-week period before the DNA results are released. Raquel Mwigai, KTN News. Also, Baringo Senator Gideon Moyers has condoled with the family of the late James Binsai Chepsongol, a former ambassador who also served as many, many years as a civil servant in the Ministry of Labor. Chepsongol hailed from Baringo, and his last assignment was an, as an envoy to Botswana. He is survived by a widow, Helen, and four children. Well, what I can say about my father is uh, he was a seasoned uh, diplomat, uh, intellectual, uh, very confident, very selfless man. And uh, he loved his country, he loved his people in Baringo. And um, he worked for the government for 35 years, very dedicated, I, I, can't, I can't stress that enough. Um, and uh, he will be missed because he touched people in all corners, uh, not just in Kenya, but uh, internationally. He was a kwanza foreign affairs. Mika he passed away suddenly. Uh, it was totally unexpected and we're extremely saddened. But we have courage that uh, he's with the Lord and we have courage uh, that the family who are deep uh, Christians believe in that. Allows us to condole with the family and wish them well. And on behalf of the people of Beringo County, I want to say pole, pole sana to them, their family, friends, and the whole people of Beringo County. All right, we're taking another quick commercial break here on KTN Prime. Don't go too far. When we return, we take a look at the latest from the world of business. <laughs>